Most Christians and many others know that St. Francis called his son brother and the moon and stars sisters. These are, however, related to each other and to the rest of creation only through God. They cannot explain themselves. They have no value independent of God. Thomas of Salano, Francis's first biographer, wrote that Francis made all of creation a ladder by which to ascend to the Creator. A love of nature, not rooted in the Creator, would sooner or later degenerate into a sentimentality to be doled out or withheld at the pleasure of the person who sees the world in this way. If we forget this, then we will be strongly tempted to yell, mine, mine, about things and people who have been created for God's pleasure. We are invited to share in that pleasure, but on God's turn. The prayer for today is, Lord of all creation, Francis of Assisi had great respect for everything that you have made, trees, birds, worms, sunsets, rainbows, fire, water, and even lepers. Help us not to be stingy in our respect for all your creation, because properly appreciated, it will always lead us back to you and to the harmony you have always intended us to enjoy. Okay. 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 Y esto no está entrando. God upon death. Please stand as we begin our celebration. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty, God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table, where saints and sinners are friends I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love come to the feast of heaven and earth come to the table of plenty God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As has been announced, we celebrate the memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels. And for this Mass, we pray for the special intention of the Virgin of Guadalupe for all of us, for peace in the world. Let us now take a moment in our hearts, acknowledge our sins. Let us ask God for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. 
through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us. Hear our supplication as we cry to you that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown dawn its place? For taking hold of the ends of the earth till the wicked are shaken from its surface? The earth is changed as is clay by the seal and dyed as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld and the arm of pride is shattered. Have you ever... Have you entered the sources of the sea, or walked about the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you, or have you seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehended the breath of the earth? Tell me if you know all. Which is the way to the dwelling place of light, and where is the adobe of darkness? That you may take them to their boundaries, and set them on their homeward paths? You know because you were born before them and the number of your years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account. What can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word, the word of the Lord. response is, guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit, you know when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journey and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. So, guide, guide me, Lord, Lord along, along the everlasting, everlasting way. way. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. Guide, guide, guide me, Lord, Lord along, along the, the everlasting, everlasting way. way. If I take the wings of dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your, ha your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide, guide me, Lord, Lord along, along the everlasting, everlasting way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide, guide me, me, Lord, Lord along the everlasting way. Please stand. Hallelujah 
Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers who do his will. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that there are angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning once again to everybody and welcome to the Church of St. Francis of Assisi on this second day of October that we celebrate the memorial of our guardian angels. Incidentally, we are in the 26th week of the ordinary time of the church's year, cycle A. And this week happened to be the week to recognize and celebrate the angels, the messengers of God. You will recall that on the 29th of August, August 29th, we celebrated the, the feast of the archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. On this second, a few days apart, we celebrate the guardian angels. Someone called the guardian angels, our angels, our invisible friends. And truly, they are our friends. All of you are children may not fully understand the meaning and implication of having a friend or what it means to be a friend. But at least you know one, you know a friend when you see one. A friend smiles with you and at you. A friend supports you when you are not strong. A friend rejoices with you when you excel on something like performing excellently well in your exams. A friend is someone you can comfortably turn your back to without being afraid of coming to any harm. A 
friend is someone you can share your chocolate with because he or she is your friend. So as we regularly share our times with people we consider our friends and we celebrate them on their birthdays, the church has given us today, October 2nd, to celebrate the memorial of these our invisible friends. Christian teaching holds that we all have our personal guardian angels. At least in that gospel we had this morning from Matthew chapter 18 verse 10. Jesus told us again to see that we do not despise one of these little ones because as he said they are angels in heaven always see the face of his heavenly father. Some of you may have seen or read the uh, enlarged version of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. In paragraph 336, this Catechism was straight about the teaching uh, of the guardian angels and it said something very interesting to all of us as we listen to God speak to us in this mass Catechism of the Catholic Church paragraph 336 says from its beginning until death human life is surrounded by the watchful care and intercession of angels. Beside each believer, beside each believer stands an angel as protector and shepherd leading him to life. Already here on earth, the Catechism continued, the Christian life shares by faith in the blessed company of angels and men united in God. So if we know, if we recognize that we have these invisible friends surrounding us every day, we should always, as God's children, remain good boys and good girls so that we do not scare these angels away from us so that they can remain close to us protecting us and guiding us so do not misbehave because when you misbehave when you lack love you scare the angel of God and we do not want to scare our angels we want them to be by us to guide us to guard us to protect us to celebrate with us and to be with us all day, all time. So as you begin this last day of your classes within this week, today is Friday, and as our parents, our teachers, and everyone else begins the weekend, this is our prayer in this Mass, that our guardian angels may always be with us, by us to guide us to guard us to protect us to wave very far away from us every snare of the enemy and to keep us safe in everything we have to do please stand We turn to God in prayer at this moment, asking for our needs, the needs of the church, and the needs of the world. For the church, that we might continue to be a place 
a welcome for all, especially those seeking healing and peace in the midst of life's challenges. We pray to the Lord. Prayer. For leaders of all nations, that they may always put the interests of peace before violence, equality before exclusion, and hope before pessimism. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those affected by the wildfires, especially those who have lost their lives while, tr wa while trying to assist others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the hungry, and the unemployed, and for those who suffer from loneliness and depression, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of the Virgin of Guadalupe, for whom this Mass is intended, and for all those who have died, may they attain the blessedness of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you, God, for bringing us together. We thank you for the gift of our parents and our teachers. We thank you for the gift of our students. As they begin their classes today, Friday, keep them strong in your love and peace and protect them through the guardian angels you have sent to all of us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. God's way is my way, God's shield is round me, God's host defends me, saving from ill. Angels of heaven drive from me always, all that would harm me. Stand by me still. Rising, I thank you, mighty and strong one, King of creation, giver of rest. Firmly confessing threeness of persons, oneness of Godhead, Trinity blessed. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you, as we venerate your holy angels, and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John and Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, my dear friends, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May we share the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, the bread of life, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. We invite our friends who are joining us online that they can make their spiritual communion at this time. Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As we now receive Jesus in the Eucharist, let us go in his peace and love. Thanks be to God. We follow the normal protocol. The Eucharistic ministers for the students and the teachers, we come forward and bring our Lord to us, while our regular Eucharistic ministers will also come forward to bring Holy Communion to our parents and our friends who have visited and are joining us for this Mass. So I now invite them, please. Eucharistic ministers, please. And have a good day, students, teachers, and parents. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for the Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth, to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. 
Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs, and the pure in heart shall see their God. Blessed are they whose hunger only holiness can fill, for I say they shall be satisfied. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. Blessed are they who through their lifetime sow the seeds of peace. All will call them children of the Lord. Blessed are you, though persecuted in your holy life, for in heaven great is your reward. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth, to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today.